Okay, so I had a bit of a, well, it wasn't a resin spill, actually. It was, a, it was really weird. I don't I think a, a bit of material in the vat, and then the next time I'd done a print, it had punctured the FEP. Uh, so it was a bit of a challenge on using dark resins. I thought I got all the bits out, and obviously, and anyway, it leaked on the screen. Um, I actually had a lot more resin on here than you can see right now. Uh, <clears throat> and, you know, getting it off is a pain. You've got to be careful. Screens are delicate and all that tried a couple of different ways um one of them sort of works uh it's a, it's a heating up a hot towel um with sort of boiling water leaving it on to let the resin soak for a brief period of time and then sort of scraping it off that kind of works um fingernail works very well seems to not damage the screen but we'll get this off there you go, some of it is coming off, there we go. Um, but if it's a lot, it's very difficult to get it started and it doesn't want to come off. Um, so yeah, it is a bit of a mare. Um, <coughs> but then I thought, what about trying this? So this is just butane. Uh, it's nothing special, uh, just normal lighter, lighter fluid. Um, and if you put it on here and squirt a bit to to chill it, because this is, I can't remember what it comes out at, but it's, it's coming out at minus something at least. Uh, it makes the resin really easy to come off, actually. So I'll show you. So if I, it's going to be a bit tricky. I'm going to have to pause the camera, I think. Uh, but we'll see. So do that. It's frozen it. Let's give it a bit more of a go. That was a, a tough piece. Just chilled it a lot. There, and it just flakes straight off. Uh, I'll do it again over here. If you don't press too hard with this onto the screen, you don't want to damage the screen. Let's give it another go. There you go nice and cold. Just flake straight off. So yeah, really, really <laughs> surprised that it works that well. Uh, this is water washable resin. Um, I've not tried it with other resins of other types, but you would sort of expect it to hopefully work the same. Um, what I'll do, I'll just put the screen back on uh, so that we know it hasn't damaged it. Just one second. There we go, so there's a quick exposure test, um, screen's okay, obviously I need to get rid of some more of the resin, there's a few little bits dotted around there, <laughs> but yeah, all good. Like, subscribe if you think it's useful, and share it, it would be much appreciated. I can imagine it's quite a lot of use to people who have uh, accidental resin spills, it is the, one of the biggest pains of... Uh, certainly resin printing and yes I should have a screen protector on but I just haven't on this one